Hello, it's Tanya from Tati Treasure. Um, I'm here today to do the next instalment in the Crafty Cat Colour Challenge. So I've got my timer set. I'll just put it over here. Hopefully I'll remember to stop and start it. Um, before I started, I just want to, because I've mentioned it a few times now on, on Instagram, um, I've done a couple of lots of um, tea staining and I've been experimenting with different types of tea. So this one is red bush tea um, and I love the colour that it's come out. It's, it's like a peachy, a peachy brown um, and then some of it's, you know, quite ginger um then to a bit you know like brick brick red type thing so really love that and some of it looks like avocado uh dying so that's the the red tea one and then this one is it was it had got three fruits in it i feel like it was blueberry strawberry maybe blackberry um but this has come out really with a blue tint um i mean some of the markings are fabulous so yeah you you know and side by side you can definitely um tell tell the difference now this this one is minty so it's come out you know really really light but it's got a beautiful smell and i quite i quite like that it does take the starkness off and you've still got that nice nice crispy but it's nice to have um different colored things um you know depending on on different projects that that you're doing uh, i mean the blue would be lovely if you was doing um Oh, what's the word? C. Nautical. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought I'd just, just show you that. So, this week it is black and white. Now, I've watched, I think I'm probably the last person to, to have done theirs. Um, and I've seen everyone else's. And they look absolutely fabulous. Um but i'm really nervous about it oh that sun has just decided to come out what's that look like oh. right i'll carry on um for a bit hopefully the it's it's been a really cloudy day today so i thought oh i'll i'll film why it's why it's um cloudy let me turn my so obviously I've put extra lighting on in here, but don't really, don't really need it. Right, I'm going to pause the video a little bit and and come come back. Right, I'm back. Um, the clouds come back out again. I might have to pause it again in a bit. It's it's one of those those days. It is really cloudy outside. Obviously, my blinds still haven't come. Um, I've not even heard when they're going to come. But um, obviously, you know, people aren't at work. So that is that. Anyway, so it's black and white. Um, and I, I just feel really intimidated. I've never done anything in, in black and white. It's, it's just really out of my comfort zone. I feel as if it's going to be really quite plain even though i do like plain but um yeah i just don't know so anyway we should just do it and and see see what happens um i've got no definite kind of plan um i've bought this lovely kit off um stephanie at my porch prints uh, and I'd bought it a few weeks ago before I even knew that I was doing black and white because it is something that that I did want to um, 
you know, have a go at because it is so different. So I've cut, cut all this out and I've put the bigger pieces uh, to one side thinking that I can probably use these as, as bases. Um, I've just got a, an envelope from from Lorna at TaylorMade Journals, just a couple of Rolodex card, index card, couple of envelopes, glassine bag and a lovely um, card, blank card. So that's kind of what I was going to use for bases. Um, I looked in all my stash and stuff and I thought, you know, I'm going to go with the Tim Holtz, the black and white photos, the paper paper dolls um but then once you put those on your projects it's a bit hard to i don't know like put anything else on them we shall see so i found some different laces and and this lovely trim i still never found out what it's called i've not used it for a while so i've got some of that in black um i've got some of the tracy Fox's labels, she did um, include a black and white set in, in one of her latest sets that she brought out. I've got some black uh, die cuts, butterflies and dragonflies and some birds. I've got a few black and white stickers. I've got this washi tape, some doilies in there, just all the rest of the pieces to that kit from Stephanie um, and then I thought oh I'll get me get me stamps some stamps out um, see what I can do do with those so I'm gonna use the black archival ink and I think that's that's about it um, I found some black card I've got I printed a few sheets out in, in black and white. Um, I think these are from Junk with Staff. Um, yeah, I'll have to put all the links at the bottom. Of, I've totally run out of, of memory today. Um, that one, they're Lorna's wallpapers, what... Um, I printed that in black and white. That one's come up fabulous. And then some of Lorna's um, lace. Then some music papers, some script, some newspapers, graph paper, and then some plain white paper. So, yeah, that's that's it. It just feels as if I've really got nothing, nothing out. So, we'll see. Right, so I'm going to put the timer on. Here we go. Du -du -du. Right, I think I'll go for the most jazziest thing <laughs> that's in my pile. And I'll start off with this. So I'm guessing it kind of screams out some kind of ephemera folder. So I shall back it with something shall I do that yep um, where's my tear roller gone underneath here I don't know what's up with me today um, I just feel all out of sorts um, sad really that sun's come out again, hasn't it? <laughs> right, I shall pause it again, really. Sorry. This sun has gone in again. It might be, I have to just keep stopping and starting, but obviously you can't tell that I've stopped and started. Let me just put my timer back on. So I guess that's better than um, it keep, you know, being that you can't even even see what I'm I'm doing. So, um, I've I've just ripped that to to size. Um, it doesn't quite fit, but then this has got like as if it was an old notebook. Um, it's got the pretend string through the middle. So I think I'm going to stick it at the middle, and then with my black card, 
uh, do two kind of side tops or no because I need something covering covering that so yeah I feel that like that would look better though so yeah instead of measuring that up I will go go that way it looked it looked a bit funny and both being the same right how do we get into this glue so yes um yeah I just feel really out of sorts I've not really crafted the last few days um I think Monday Tuesday I spent um doing the orders in my dream catcher shop and like both days I did a good eight hours um just sat at my desk making making the kits up um and by the end of the day I, <coughs> I cooked tea and it uh, went went straight to bed I was absolutely exhausted and with sitting so long and uh, leaning over my desk it, it felt as if um, my ribs was all crushed in so then Thursday I thought um, you know I'll give myself a day off but um, then I obviously have to go and post everything because I'm only posting every two weeks um, that was a ordeal if you remember last week when when i said that i went um i was a good good 40 minutes or something because i'm posting two weeks where so i had bought um quite a lot of large letter um stamps when i went last time and I did post those into the post box, you know, before I went went in. But yeah, I was still about half an hour in there, um, and unfortunately, um, it's only a little post office, and two of his staff are off um, are off sick. So it was literally on it on his own. Um, and you know the only allowing three in at a time so yeah that was awkward um, so me being me you know as I went out I apologised to every single person because that's just the kind of person I am um, only two people um, said oh you know don't worry about it the rest <laughs> looked to me with daggers which you know I don't blame him it, we all ain't queuing up it's very stressful at, at the minute um everything's you know taking a lot longer than than we used to things taken but um yeah then after that I'd got to do the food shopping because I've started you know doing everything just trying to find the corner punch um, doing everything all in all in one day so I only have to go out every two weeks myself um, so yeah I walked to our local supermarket which is Sainsbury's uh, and the queue was literally all the way around the perimeter of, of the car park so I probably queued there about 40 minutes I don't know why that doesn't want to clip I'm guessing it's um, a little bit uneven so yeah and it was raining it was cold it was miserable um, went in and did the shopping and when I got in there it was just like a, a free for all um, and it was just, uh, it, I'm, it just shocks me that you know we've all queued outside so obviously we still all know that you know we shouldn't be standing together and all the rest of it and then you know as soon as they get in the shop everybody's just walking around like everything's fine and dandy so anyway something that you know the whole thing would have normally took me about an hour and a half it was like a four hour 
um, long thing. So by the time I'd got my shopping away, I'd a rant and rave when I got home about, you know, the craziness of it all and stuff, wound myself up. Um, I was exhausted and I had to go back to bed. And then, it's Friday yesterday, wasn't it? So yeah, yesterday I thought, oh yes, I'll do this, I'll do that, and I'll do the other. Um, I got up, came and, you know, sat at my desk, and oh, I had the energy of, of a nap. Um, even lifting my scissors up was, was a big ordeal, so I ended up going back to bed again, so... But, you know, the past few few weeks I have been working really, really hard. So I probably just totally pushed myself too much. And then obviously with all the added stresses and that on on top, um, I think it's just all, all caught up with me. So yeah, now today I feel all out of, of sorts. Let me just trim that off there. Yeah, it's surprising a few days of, of not actually crafting. I mean, the two days where I was making the dream catcher things, when I went to bed, I did take me cutting and I I did some uh, cutting, cutting art kits and, and stuff. So it wasn't like I'd, I'd not done anything. Um, but, um, yeah, it, I, it doesn't take a lot to to get out of that, that routine of it and then be all like, oof, how do we do this and how do we do that? So it might take me a, a bit to get my creative juices flowing. Hope I've not done that too close. No, that's fine. I quite like the black ink round, round it. So that is that. Let me just check that I'm filming because the t yes, I'm filming. Did I put the timer on? Oh, I don't know. Yes, I did. <laughs> Everything's fine. So should we put some lace like that across? Or we could just have the white. Quite like in the polka dots. Imagine the white, it's quite nice. No, I think polka dots looks nicer. Or, I could use some washi. No. So yeah, forgive me if I'm a little bit, um, a little bit rusty. But um, yeah, I just feel totally out of it. Um, you know, my daughter was due to give birth in the next couple of weeks but um baby's grown really really large um and she she does tend to have complications after birth with um bleeding um so yes um she's being started off on on monday um you know and it's already six weeks since I've seen her and my three granddaughters and then obviously I'm gonna have a brand new grandson um who I'm you know not gonna be able to see so I think obviously I mean I've tried me you know my artist to, to not not think about it and stuff uh, but obviously I think even if you're not thinking about things that things tend to play on your mind, don't they? So yeah, I'm I'm worried about that. I'm more worried about about her and and stuff than you know. Or I just can't can't meet him type thing. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be difficult. So I do think. See, I have stayed away because. The girls are obviously at that age. If I if I just went and you know stood at the front um, gate or something just to say hello, 
I just think it 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 be it wouldn't be worth it. I think it'd cause you know that much drama um and stuff because you know the kids would be wondering why you weren't going in and stuff. So I've I've just totally stayed stayed away. But um yeah I am thinking I'm probably gonna have to turn up and and just have a look through the window or, or something. Um I don't know how I can possibly, you know, just totally totally stay away. So yeah. Anyway, that's that's enough about that. Um oh yeah that's quite nice so i'm not even attempting to use my little tiny bottle of glue today i don't i just don't think i could cope with it oh, i just can't cope with it so yeah i'm kind of forcing myself back in it today um yeah i think it's, it's for the best so that is that Good job it's got a nice front. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's fine, but yeah, it's it's plain. Let's try and get that corner. So let's see what we've got. I just got some little bits out the kit. These might be too little. Could have probably done with that kind of size. that one at the side yeah I'm fine right so I'm just rooting here to see if I can find something a little bit um bigger just to just to pop in Ooh, is that, that's going to be far too long isn't it yes So that could go there and those there. So I'll leave that open to dry. I'm going to put it underneath something just to just to press it down a bit. Sorry about keep leaning over. Right, so that is that. Um I did have a play with this um when the sun came came out to to just have a thing and all I did was did that and I actually just like that um I can't see why you would put anything else on it maybe I could do because I'm thinking this could be a big journal card but maybe it could be a journal card with a, a pocket across it but then would I have to put because I really like the heads there so I'm going to stick that down does it need a little bit of thinking around it? These do tend to have those quite um, white edges, don't they? So yeah, I hope everybody else is so managing to keep keep well and entertained and um, enthusiastic. And so I think this is really the first time I've really felt quite quite fed up about it all um but like i say it is only because because of the imminent birth well say because really i'm i'm having a way of a time not going to work <laughs> and um and you know crafting it's uh, absolutely wonderful I'm going to say, I am missing the kind of routine and stuff. Um, I can tell we're all starting to have enough of each other. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, my fella's been a bit grumpy the past few few days. I think he's totally uh, fed up. I mean, he, he's been keeping himself busy with lots of DIY and gardening and stuff but um i think he's really missing going going out up into the hills and stuff but um 
it's like a 40 minute drive to do that um, and it's it's not really really allowed uh, to go that that far so I mean we have got fields around us and stuff but um, I think it's missing the beauty more than the um, than the actual walking he likes you know nice scenic view and stuff the only thing is if I do put it there it's going to cover the shoes up but could I just do it really small and just have it as a kind of why do I keep pulling that ridiculous one out no hmm Maybe I should have put something behind it then. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm kind of at a loss how to um, jazz these things up. Because to me, I think it's fine. Um, yeah, I just, just don't know what to do with that. I think when you start putting other things on, it to me then it looks as if it's it's overcrowded. Um, yeah, I don't even think it needs it needs a label. Definitely not a, a number label. And I don't think I've got any word ones. Um, printed out so I am just going to have that as a journal card but I think what I am going to do I'm I'm going to have it as um I don't know I'm just going to make a pocket at the back I don't know what it's um purpose in life would be but um yeah I can't even think what things are, are called so I'm going to put a pocket at the back Not a big pocket like that. Let's probably go there. So, I know what I'm going to do. I'll just back it with something. Then it could kind of be a removable, um, a movable pocket or something like that. Right, what can I put at the back of it? I'll just have this, this newsprint. Yeah, the supermarkets was was back to normal you know with the amount of, of stuff um on the shelves and and stuff um there wasn't a lot of flour i did notice that um and they were still quite low on the you know pasta rice but you know you could there was enough choice and and what have you So this seemed to be working very, very hard in, in the supermarkets. Getting us all filled, filled back in. I'm going to say there was lots and lots of um, staff, you know, working, getting all the shelves filled. But yeah, the last time I went, I think I went on the Friday. So this time I thought, right, I'm going to go on the Thursday because maybe, you know, people are still in the, um, you know, habit of still going on a Friday or whatever. So I thought I'll go on a Thursday. 
and it was worse than than it was before but um maybe if a lot of people are doing the shopping every fortnight like me um <clears throat> maybe there's times <clears throat> excuse me when nobody's um you know asking about and then we just all seem to to time it at the same time kind of thing who knows well, yeah, I have, I'm just finding it really stressful. I can pretend that it's not, nothing's happening when I'm at home. I just totally forget all, all about it. I say I don't watch the news. I like to, to live in my bubble. Right, I'll just give this a ink round so yes I don't think I'll be inspiring anybody today <laughs> I think I need to watch some some videos myself and, and be inspired um, I've been trying to catch up on the videos the last couple of days <coughs> with um, having some snoozy time and, and that but um yeah, I've just kept falling asleep. Get halfway through one and, and that's it. I'm fast on. So I haven't managed to even even get caught caught up. Yeah, I'd done that a little bit too big. I thought I had, but then when I double checked, it didn't look as if it was. So I just cut, cut around there. So you want something a bit bigger for, for in there. one of these it's probably a bit a bit too big shall I have this one yeah we could have that in sorry have I just been off screen there I'll just give this a, a little bit of an ink ink round really really looking forward to doing this it, it's funny yeah it was that mixture of excitement and and dread well i think probably after i've I've done it, I'll think, oh yeah. Um and and probably want to want to do it again because I think everybody who's done it so far, they've I mean, um Amy's done a couple in the black and white and she's made um a journal um doing it. So her stuff looked fabulous though. She'd um used um yeah <laughs> i can't even think uh, but 
absolutely beautiful um, cap. Right, it's going to want something, something else. Something else. Which I think it wants a bit of black lace now across, across the bottom just to break the, the whiteness. Oh yeah. I was going to get some diamantes out and um, I totally totally forgot but I suppose I can I can go around after like I say I do think once I've done this I'll possibly be a bit more um, confident with it and think oh yes I could you know add this or that but um, at the moment it looks like nothing I've ever I've ever done before so that's that going to put that oh yeah just there <laughs> just there I'll put that there do you think we can get a cheeky label on probably do with one a little bit smaller maybe yeah quite like that So that is that is that one. Like I said, I don't really know what it is. Is it a, a movable pocket or I suppose it could be a journal card you pull it out and it's pocket. Yes, that that is that is what it is. Right, what else? Um Do something with one of these. Um, I think I'm gonna have to pause again. Is the sun? Yeah, I'm gonna pause again. Right, it's gone again. As soon as I put it on pause, it it seems to go. Yeah, if I didn't put it on pause, it, it probably wouldn't wouldn't go. Um, I'm just gonna lightly ink around there just to give it a bit of bit of interest. So I'm just thinking about doing some kind of of ruffle. Um, I'm gonna do it that way, that way up. So what can we do? Let's possibly. I think that's probably a little bit too thick, but um, we'll cut some of that off. And cut it, cut some down. This would be, be too big. Yeah. I suppose it depends what you're going to use it for. Yeah, 
Yeah, possibly is a little bit too big, is that one the same? Yeah. Probably needs a little bit more white underneath to make it stick out. Oh, let's just try to doily under it. like that. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. I quite like it. Let's take that first. That went next, didn't it? Probably only want a little spot on. Let's get it the right way because see the spots more on on one side than than the other bit of pats put a few talents on here so that's that and then we'll have that to the side yeah quite like that So there's a altered Rolodex card. Um, let's do a bit of collage. I'm gonna take the top bit off. Um, and just get rid of that blue blue line. So tear that down. I leave one side plain for writing, and then I shall collage the the other side. Wish I'd have found a magpie out or something, like a black and white white bird. I think I, I used all those when I did my bird things. So we'll do it on that side. Let's, what have we got? <clears throat> Some let's put my lid on. I'm ready for a lie down again. Um, with some of this. So, let's have a look. Let's pop that on to there. Let's get my tear roller. Tear that down. So, that's there. I've not got a clear what picture um, I'm going to put on. I think I only found out um, photos. Right, let's use some of that wallpaper by Laura. I'm probably going to stick this to the whole back of the of the thing actually and then collage on on top of it because this will make a really a really good base oh, I've not used my stamps have I I'm saying I think I will sit and play a bit more with it after after I've finished filming, see, see if I get a bit more um, confident with that. Okay. 
give that a nice rub. So that is that. Yeah, that's great. I had some more paper like that in the 90s. Um, Of music paper. Just Let's see what image I'm thinking of. I wonder if I could put um, little people on here. See, this is something I've not um, really played with these, these paper dolls. Probably need to... Um, to play with these. Yeah, I'm not keen on on that. Um, yeah, I definitely didn't pick any um, pictures of birds out. something a bit bigger. Just rooting. I like that. <laughs> Do like that. Yeah, can I just leave it like that? <laughs> yeah, I've... just don't know what to do with that. Um... Yeah, I've just got no focal point at all. Hmm. I think I've got a new bird book in here, which means I probably it will be a black and white one in there. Oof. Oh, let me just have a drink of coffee. Gosh. Oh. Right, I'm guessing the more this way. Okay, I've already been tearing in this, but maybe I've already had that. Yeah, 
is going to be too too tall. See that would have fit, but it's just in a funny, funny position. Right, I'm gonna pause. Let me um let me go find something because I've only got ten minutes left. Right, I found a bird and <laughs> it really didn't didn't look right. So I've managed to find two two butterflies. Um I'm just gonna do it simple like that. It to me that then didn't it, it's all a bit too clashy for me so i'm gonna go uh just simple so yeah i don't think black and white's for me <laughs> um yeah and say so i was gonna do a black and white um botanical theme but i suppose it the way I was thinking, um, this is before this challenge, um, just in, in general. But I suppose see, I would have used book pages um, and then like black images. I think um, I'm finding the contrast of the black and white um, just difficult to work with. But see, I'm not very good at working with, with bright things. It, um, it is actually hurting my eyes. Um, but yeah, I do think that's part of my um, my fibromyalgia with the um, being oversensitive to to light and things like that. Um, I'm not good with with colour and not not brightness, um, and I think that's. That is um, where I'm finding it difficult uh, with this. Yeah, it's actually really hurting my eyes. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's so... Cause I was really looking forward to it. Oh, well. I've done it. <laughs> I'm liking this. Uh, I think the background to this is, is lovely. Um... Yeah, I would definitely use that in in my botanicals. I don't know what colour it was before I printed it out in in black and white, but it's, it's come out black and grey. But it actually looks looks metallic. Right, I'll stuck everything. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a little bit of lace down down the side. Let's stick that down here. Yeah, so sorry I've been a bit, a bit of a grumble, a grumpy groaner today, but that's just how I feel. I'm going to say I don't, I don't have many days like, like this. Well, I suppose we all get fed up, don't we, sometimes. Right, that's fine. Yeah, I, I landed on, like, that's turned out fine for me. Quite like that. Right, I might have time just just for something else. What have I, what have I got? See, I had got that out, because um, that was next to each other on the sheet. Um, I was literally going to just cover the inside and and then just sew sew some papers in it as a little as a little notebook. Um and I had found where's that little boy gone? There was a lovely little boy with um with a dog. Oh, it's because I've just had a shuffle through here. I'd I had put him at the the top because I found him when I had a look through yesterday. And I thought, oh, he's just right for, for on there. And obviously, I can't find him now. 
Right, I give up. <laughs> oh, look at them there. <laughs> oh, they are lovely. I love that. Mm. I don't know if I do or if I don't. Ten days. I quite like that for some reason. Oh dear, I think I'm delirious now. Um. Oh yeah, something else I was going to do. There was like two rows of those. So I cut those out that way. Um. But yeah, I mean, something like that won't, to me, it won't want decorating. It just wants actually back in. So that's what I'll probably do with those pieces that, that I'd picked out. Um, and same with this one. Um, I was going to do that as one what goes over the top of a page. But again, apart from decorating in the middle of it, um, you know, I wouldn't do anything to to the front um i've got something else now. and then the flash card there's these little ones at the bottom so i left that on then i thought I could back that and have that as a little pocket at the back so i should finish those off um off camera just to put put in with the with the set but i think i'm gonna uh, put that on there. I do quite like that. And then that that'll probably be it. We can we can all be excused. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's probably me done for today. Then so I've sat and made a few. Um, orders up this morning and um, I got my Patreon people's monthly uh, gifts sorted out and wrapped up and ready to post because I can post they, 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 the ones that I've done today was uh, just English ones so I can post those in the local post box with um, large letter stamps so yeah I've done that this morning um, and then this, um, and yeah, I've, I'm exhausted. So luckily this morning I put, I got me um, slow cooker out and I've put, put some chicken in. And I went down not so long ago and put some new potatoes in it. And then I've got some leeks um, and I want to put some crumb fresh in. And I think it's called like a spring chicken um, casserole. And then I'll put peas and carrots and and stuff in it. I think you then put um, a dash of lemon juice and it goes really well with the, with the crumb fresh. It's a really nice um, dinner. So that is that one. Did I not put the salon back on? No, I didn't. I've probably got a couple, a couple of minutes. So, um, yeah, that is that is all I'm gonna do. Like I say, I I will uh, back these ones and just finish, uh, finish them them off. But um, yeah, I, I can't see what else I could I could do. So <laughs> they're all journaling cards, aren't they? Um, so yeah, uh, an index card. Do like that one. I think that's my fave. A journaling card, but like you could use it as as a pocket. It won't have to be used as a journaling card definitely be be a pocket 
Um, yeah, I like this one as well. The altered roller decks. And then a little opening forward deck. I could probably put a pocket at the at the back of that or something, but I was thinking this would probably be be stuck in. And then <laughs> this one. I do really like those ladies. <laughs> they look like they're on the work break, don't they? They're all sitting on a wall somewhere. And then yeah, turn it round. It's got a journal card. So yeah, that is that is me for today. Um I shall speak to you soon. And hopefully I've I've got a different head on by time then. <laughs> Oh dear. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye.